today's the day. We are up, it is dark outside, but we are headed to the track today. It's a good day. It is chilly outside today. Let's get this old girl warmed up. down there. And there's just some straight up race cars out here. It's gonna be a good day. That is center. <laughs> Oh boy. A lot of cool cars out here, but boy, it's freezing. Fired up. Old Fiero. I think it's pretty cool. An old Mini out there. He's pretty, <laughs> pretty crazy looking. Quite a few Supras. Some Subarus parked next to a Hoobahoo. GI. A few Mustangs, a whole bunch of Miatas down there, some Corvettes. Tires sound sticky. A lot of BMWs. Oh, she's spicy. That's not stock. Have an LS in it. Got our do our number, do it for Dale number. My goal is today to make the instructor yell at me. The instructor ain't smacking you, telling you to slow down. You ain't doing it right. Let's see if we can get him mad. It's gonna be good. Any other questions? Alright guys, so this is my first track session out here and basically the instructor is going through showing me where to pick the lines, showing me how to take the turns, showing me what the cones mean, showing me where the flagmen are. Uh, he's giving me a lot of pointers, where to turn, when to brake. So I have loads of footage uh, that I could show you guys, but basically it's a lot of the same things. And if you're not in the car, it's really not as exciting watching it on a video as actually being in there. Uh, but I can't say enough good things about the instructor. He was very patient, very informative. I learned a lot. And at the same time, he also pushed me harder and harder every time we went out. right that these cars love track and I've never driven a track these this is uh trickier than I thought it would be I thought you just go in there and make some turns curbs I don't know for me it's a tendency to stay away from the curbs and stay away from the edges that was definitely a learning a learning curve to get up on the curbs it was cool though I'm, the instructor's really good. This place out here at uh, Arizona Motorsports Park, awesome place. 
super awesome place. Uh, the instructors are great. NASA, just uh, highly recommend it. Highly recommend the car. Highly recommend the track. I mean, this whole thing is just super, I'm just super fired up all the way around. Absolutely love it. The car does amazing. The instructor was super impressed of how smooth the car was. He was like, ooh, heated seats. Clicked on the heated seats because we had to have our windows down. Yeah, so he clicked on the heated seats. I had on the heated steering wheel, you know. We were out there for a Sunday cruise, but you know, at about 100 mile an hour. So it was cool. It was very, very cool. Highly recommend it. My first time out, I'm out there ripping and the instructor's like, get it. He's like, for it. You know, I got this younger guy and he wasn't, he was, he was about being safe, but it was also about like learning fast spots. Learn how to be fast and safe. This guy over here in the Shelby with the orange jumpsuit. Goofball, dude. My first time on the track, I smoked that dude. I had a, you know, I'm just passing Mustangs out here. I don't know. Just passing Shelby's, you know, in my little three cylinder. It's just, I mean, it's not too much to brag about. I mean, because it is a Mustang, but still. Oh, look, like you got an instructor talking to Yeah, I know. He's like, listen, you need to put your foot on the floor of this thing. That little Corolla took you to Gapplebee's. The way they have this thing set up is you have a classroom before your first track session. In that first classroom, they're gonna go over like some real basic stuff. They're gonna go over like, you know, what the cones mean on the track, what the flags mean, the flagmen, the positions of flagmen. Uh, they're gonna go over even things like your mirror settings, your seating position, where your hand should be, um, when you should shift, things like that, some real basic things. Then you go out for a 20 minute track session. When you get back, you wait about 20 minutes and then you have another classroom time. Each one of these classrooms is anywhere from about 15 to 30 minutes long. And the other classrooms that are between the sessions after the first one, they go over, like you kind of like download from what you may have learned. Uh, and then they go into more intense instructions on cornering, braking, how far you can go into the turn before you can start braking. That was something that took a little longer for me to learn, to trust the car, to drive into that turn hard. Anyway, there's, if you can see on the track, there is these cones positioned. Uh, they position these cones in a particular way so you know when to start braking or, you know, a general idea of when to start braking and where to aim in your turns, which is pretty cool. Very, very helpful. They'll also go over things like passing how you can pass, when you can pass, you have to like signal people in the straightaways to pass. But overall guys, I mean this is a, a super fun experience. I learned so much through all this. What's crazy too is on video it looks like you're going slow, but in the car, I mean you're getting thrown around pretty hard. I was never under third gear anywhere on the track and at, sometimes I was almost to red line in fourth gear on the straightaways which was about 110 mile an hour at certain points depending on how you come out of the turns but uh, you are not at any point going slow. It was funny because on my first track session I thought we were just going to go out there and kind of cruise around and learn the track and the instructor was going to give me some pointers. We were out there for about two turns, and he was like, let this thing eat. So I was like, brother, you don't need to say any more than that. All right, so like I said, I have loads of footage that I could sit here and play for you guys. It's probably about 80 minutes of track time footage because we did four track sessions, 20-minute intervals each time. Um, but I'm not going to put you through all that because like I said, it's a lot more exciting in the car than outside the car. So I'm going to put some highlights in here, guys. You can check out the highlights. If you got any questions on how these things are set up, if you end up buying any of the GR lines through Toyota, whether it be the Supra 
the 86 or the Corolla. Uh, this is something that Toyota offers for you is the, these free track days. And this is the way uh, it's particularly set up here in Arizona. It's through this car group called NASA. And I can't say enough good things about NASA or the Arizona Motorsports Park where we went. But if you guys got any questions, hit me up. Again, this was so much fun. I had a blast. I could totally get behind this if I could afford tires to do this all the time and uh, the gas and the, and the time to do all this all the time. I could totally get into this. But overall, the car was amazing. The track was amazing. I had a lot of fun. Here's some of the footage that I had. Enjoy, and then I'll wrap up the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Well, that's gonna do it. What an epic day. <clears throat> I think I lost my voice. NASA, the club that put this on, they're amazing. They did a great job. Their instructors are amazing. The instructor was super nice, super helpful. I learned so much. I'm still not a fast guy on the track, but I have learned a lot. And uh, I'm definitely not the slowest. Let me put it that way. Um, I was running with another GR and he seemed to walk away from me a little bit. So I tell you, this is a, there's a lot of skill to be learned here, but Arizona Motorsports Park, awesome place. The Corolla, awesome car. Man, this car is such a ride on the track. It's so smooth, so smooth. Absolutely love it. Even the inspector was just overjoyed the fact that he got to ride in a uh, GR Corolla all day, even though there's like six of them out here. But he was, we were rolling around with the heated seats on this morning and uh, you know, in the afternoon it's all comfortable in the car. And he's like, man, this thing is nice. So. The car is amazing. It's everything I thought it would be on the track. The handles amazing. The only thing I could think of is if it had a little better tires, a little stickier tires. And if we if we stick doing this, you know, maybe that's something we'll have to look into. But either way, thank you NASA. Thank you Arizona Motorsports Park for having us out. Thank you Toyota for putting this all on. And this is amazing. This is so much fun. If you guys get a chance, do it. Until next time, see ya. Thank you. A little G meter reading after the last track session don't know if you could get more on the turns <laughs> i guess we get a little more on the acceleration and the brake but 
the last one there we were kind of taking it easy i forgot to check this thing at the, the last couple runs Thank you.